between Bulgaria and Austria. Pajabashev and Gardos. Gardos, actually born in Hungary, but uh, lives in Innsbruck and is an Austrian national under the Austrian flag here at the Paralympics. Against the man from Sofia. And uh, they are making their way into the arena. We'll soon get the pleasantries out of the way and get down to business. interesting match this one he is the world number seven the Bulgarian and uh, Gardas is the world number eight so it should be a close contest they've only played each other once before uh, Gardas won that one but uh, of course there's so much at stake here should be close because they are as you say very close in world rankings just adjacent to each other big uh, difference in age the uh, Austrian 41 and uh, the Bulgarian, just 23, and only made his debut a couple of years ago for the country. So it's a big moment for him. Neither of these particularly experienced at the Paralympics, so I'm sure the nerves are jangling. Indeed, it is uh, actually Kajabashev's first ever Paralympics, but he did claim silver at the European Championships, so he does know what it's like to perform on the big stage. Yeah, and uh, a chance to get into the semi-finals for both these, in terms of the Paralympics, fairly inexperienced athletes. It's a question, I guess, of who will blink first. Class 10, of course, there is a classification of 1 to 11. The 11 is for intellectual impairment. So, in terms of physical impairment, this is those with the most movement the most uh, ability to get around the table and so we should see a fast and furious contest between these two we've had a couple of matches already of course so they'll be feeling the aches and the pains as in any tournament both these athletes yet to lose Bashev was in uh, Group E, just dropped one game, so that he, he sailed through quite nicely, whereas it was a bit more of a struggle for Gardos, but you might argue, I suppose, that uh, battle ready, having to uh, fought your way through the Group D, would have stood him in good stead. Just 23 years old, the uh, Bulgarian, already world number seven, plays at SKTN Varna, back home in Bulgaria. And as we saw, just the one game drop, that was against Lian Hao of China. Breeze past the Egyptian, Adran Ahmed. This is a man who had a slightly more difficult route through. Yes, a uh, 41 year old there from Austria, looks a, a much more powerful figure, doesn't he, than there? Uh, his opponent today. Um, table tennis is certainly in his blood. His younger brother Robert is European champion. Parents are coaches, so he's really ingrained in the sport. Yeah, he, he says his influence is his dad, Carlos. So uh, I, he uh, certainly knows it from a young age. I think uh, he started about the age of five. So 
although his debut was only last year for Austria, he's been playing for a very long time. Coach looks more nervous than the players. <laughs> he does, actually. There's only so much you can do now. You've prepared your player. There's one timeout per match, of course, for each coach. And uh, we've seen, actually, coaches taking quite early timeouts. Normally, you, you kind of wait until the last set, or if you think you're about to come crashing out of a game, you might just try and use your, your, your timeout. But they've been using very early in this uh, competition here at Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. And we'll just have to see if that is something that will continue. Well, the tactics of that are very interesting, aren't they? And you see the coaches call a timeout when, when the other player starts to gain some momentum. A lot more about power and quick points in class 10. Some of the classifications you'll see are all about placement and just being a bit canny but these guys will be out to dominate each other they're long trying to get the uh, top spin to bring it back down onto the table couldn't quite manage it he's still ahead though to three games of course oh, come on. in the games first to 11 if, you, if you're new to table tennis although of course second most played sport in the world so most people will have had a go come on. good spin on that shot from the Bulgarian and uh, he's gone from behind into a nice little cushion here Dealt well with the net cord, readjusted ever so well, Gardos. Long on the backhand. Frustrated with himself. Again, he gets a lot of spin, doesn't he? Jabashev struggling to deal with the serve. It's the Bulgarian who has the advantage at the moment. God, I still trying to work him out. fast on the forehand as well we've seen uh, spinning get onto the serve but he's quite happy to slap one down the table as well because of the impairment he serves off the bat doesn't, doesn't make any difference to the serve though that's better. That's better from Gardos. Played that shot very deep into the corner, and that set up the point. That was an excellent bit of defence from Kodibashev. Try as he might, Kardas just couldn't quite get the winner that he was looking for. And there's five game points. And there we go, wrapped up pretty quickly. 
four minutes. And uh, excellent work from uh, the Bulgarian. Eleven points to five. Quick start there from uh, the Bulgarian. A couple of good rallies in there as well. Yeah, the rallies, once they get going, can be quite good when you have the defense, one man at, at the back trying to just pop the ball back. But generally, in uh, modern table tennis, certainly in class 10, you'll see them looking for short, sharp points. As a spectator, you're pleased when it goes a bit long. It's a good spectacle. He's looking good, isn't he? Uh, certainly dominated that first game. Yeah, he looked uh, really confident there once he got uh, that cushion of a couple of points. Bit more to talk about in the Austrian corner. Just the uh, one world ranking place behind. And he's more experienced in terms of age, but funnily enough, not, not in terms of debut. Had a year less playing on the international stage. So, you know, although he's the older of the two, maybe a little less confident at the table. Just snuck onto the table there. Came around to come on to the uh, forehand. I think he was thinking it was going out. Found himself in no man's land. Didn't nail the attacking shot. It's all very well having your man on the defensive. Didn't get enough topspin on it. Just trying to dink it over the net. start to this second game certainly for the uh, spectators these players would rather be dominating in shorter points but, uh, better start from the Austrian Looks like he's just missed a simple shot, but what is happening? There's so much topspin on it, he's dipping underneath the, the bat. That's better. Little change of angle. Took the net on the way through and sent it wide. Very tight this uh, second game. Got the return horribly wrong there. And, uh, Continues to be a tight game, this one. Great power. Look at the top speed on that. That's what they did, really dipped down. Kicked up off the table. His advantage. <laughs> oh. 
first table tennis. He's uh, not afraid to give it everything, is he? The Bulgarian. Game points. Carados coming back well into this match. Well, struggled to find his rhythm early on, didn't he? But uh, looking much more comfortable now. <laughs> Word, what a backhand that was. Such quick hands. So we've got two game points though. Another excellent backhand. Now he has two game points. My maths are eluding me there. Too early in the morning. So he takes the second game. Took a couple of uh, game points to get there, but uh, much better. He leads by two games, uh, by one game each, but uh, much better from Christian Gardos in that second game. Well, it's as close as we uh, anticipated it might be, given their proximity in the world rankings. And with a semi-final place at stake as well. Maybe both player giving it everything. Well, some really crisp exchanges. He's, uh, he's very fast on the forehand. He's also they got that lightning backhand that saved a couple of game points. Bulgarian always keen to get on with things, isn't he? He's always first back at the table. It's very tight, isn't it? And uh, one apiece. Let me predict this one. Too tentative from Gardos. Well, both these players just trying to dink it over the net and being foxed by the spin. Side spin on that, I saw it uh, kick to the right after it hit the table. Very difficult to make sure you've accounted for that when you play the return. This is uh, turning into a little bit of an easy third game for the Austrian.
have to. An easy opener for the Bulgarian. In a tight second. This is going the way of the Austrian. The coach won't waste a time out at this point. This is all but done for the Austrian, barring a miraculous comeback. And look at that. Bags of uh, game points. Just took the net as it went through. One saved. This is like eleven two in just four minutes. It is by two games to one. Chance for Gardas now to really wrap this one up if he's there to take his place in the semi final. Yes, yeah, weird, isn't it? How momentum can switch in this game. It was a quick and easy match for Jabashev in the first one, but uh, Gardas battled through in the second and then steamed through in the third. Absolutely. I think he really just got his confidence, didn't he, when he, he won the second and just ran away with it from there. Oh, word. What a shot that was, and what a rally. Really high quality table tennis. Excellent forehand and a, a good recovery shot from uh, Kojabashev, but my word, the Austrian was up to it. That one dipping horribly on Kojabashev. And he started really well again. I'm out being called. You can understand why all of a sudden it's running away. And this is crucial, isn't it, for the Bulgarian not to let this one run away with him. He needs to bring himself back into this if he's to take it to a... if he's to have any chance of, of a semi-final spot. Well, that's why the, co the coach has called it, just to uh, try and break up the momentum. Because Gavadas is starting to play the shots. You just wonder his first Paralympic Games, big crowd, whether the occasion might be getting to him slightly. Well, they're both, you know, fairly inexperienced in on the big stage. In fact, Kajabashev served at the European Championships in Denmark, so he has medals to his name on at Paralympic level. Not uh, done and dusted just yet. There we go. Soon after the timeout, he's back to within a point. That's an excellent shot as well. Really get some uh, speed on those. Much, much better, and he's dancing around the court now. Helped with a bit of a net call, but look at that forehand. We're talking about the speed of the backhand, but uh, the forehand's a potent weapon as well. 
from Coach Beshev. Time out called at just the right time then, obviously. Well, it's the coach's job. Running his call in that case. Try the little flick back in and down the line. He's an interesting service style, doesn't he, the Austrian? Keeps it very tight and low to his body. Excellent point. Really good point. You can just dink it back deep because uh, Kujabashev was so far away from the table and then followed it up with an excellent shot. But not as good as that one. Goodness me. That's all about placement. It's not about the spin, it's about the placement and quick hands. Sudden, a couple of points. The lead for Kudrashev. Can he take it to the fifth game? It's a great match to start the session. It's long, it's long, and uh, now the Austrians in a spot of bother. Great backhand, a lot of spin on it. It's a bit too hot to handle for the Bulgarian. That's a horrible shot from uh, Gardos. Either one thing or another, really. Just tried the little dink over to bring the uh, Bulgarian searching for it. See what he was trying to do. Oh, yes. Three game points then. onto the forehand and on the angle beautiful winner oh it's long it's long and we'll go to a fifth game well that's much better we really sorry we really do have a match on our hands now don't we two games apiece in this quarter-final encounter Everything to play for in the last. Yeah, re real seesaw encounter between these two. And in this quarter final in class 10, it's two games apiece. The 
This is it now, the fifth and final game. Yep, now or never. And seeing we've had so many swings in this match, I wonder if anyone can take the initiative. Rudabash off to serve. Gardos hoping to return with some interest. Dribbled across the net and went out. That call didn't help. Nicely oh. placed. There'll be a timeout soon from the Austrians. There we go. There it is. Well, timeout came from the Bulgarians. Love three down in that fourth game, and it turned things around. And uh, three points adrift here in the fifth. And Gardos has decided. It's time to have a chat. Here we go, as usual. Kajabashev back at the table. First up, raring to go. Still had 22 seconds on the end of game timeout. That's a great point from Gardos. Worked his opponent. Sometimes it's difficult to finish it from there if your opponent's deep and playing defensively. But uh, excellent shot. Swap around. Just too well to nail that one. And, uh, he's looking good in this fifth game. What can guard us do here? It's long, back on equal terms. Just managed to disrupt the momentum. Roger Bashev. Won't be much more equal than this in this match. Another storming forehand from Gardos. Too much power for the Bulgarian to deal with. Get a decent contact on the wall. First time he's taken a lead in this final game.
in touching distance. No need for the Bulgarian to panic just yet. But uh, Gavados has the serve as well. There he is in bother. The power, the rotation of the body. Hitting it early as well, which helps. Better from Kojabashev. Well placed. It took a nip off the net. And it brings match point three of them to Gardos. Well, there's one of them gone. Maybe six points, able to take the towel. And uh, Bulgarian doing just that, just to give Garlis a little bit of time to think about it. Place at the semi final at stake. Point gone, place at the semi final at stake, and it seems there. Uh, he's going to crawl over the line if he's going to get there. He gave it everything, and sometimes when you're defending, you just get the ball back over and hope there's going to be a, an error in the attacking shot, and that's exactly what happened. Still got an opportunity though. Well, he saved all three. Goodness me. He's not going to let that one go easily, is he? Well, it's all about your ability, but a lot of it's mental, isn't it? And uh, Gardos has just got to put that behind him. First to a two-point lead will win this match. And it's long. And Kodjabashev has his match point chance here. Well, what a turnaround. Defended for his life on that point before last. Gardas does have the serve, though. Yeah. And it's gone long, long wide. And we're back to all square. rotates of course after every point once you get to 10 each oh it's just gone wide second match point for the Bulgarian too much power from Kojabashev Stringardos serving to stay in this match. And he does. Misses it completely. A lot of spin on that forehand. A top spin. And 
This is a fourth match point for the Australian, uh, for the Austrian even. And he does it. What an epic. You can see, see the relief there, can't you, after that five game extravaganza. Someone had to win. You feel sorry, don't you, for Kodobashev. Had two match points of his own, saved the first three in a row. Gardas had some defending of his own to do, but got there eventually.